hey what is up guys welcome back to my youtube channel in this video i'm going to be showing you how to install the stock operating system on your lenovo k3 note i thought i have done this video but i haven't so here it is so let's get into the video right after the intro I'll right click the first link in the description and download the files which are required to install the stock operating system. Once you have downloaded them, you need to extract them and go to the folder, go to DRV tools, SP drivers, and then you need to install one, two, and three, four drivers. You need to right click and select install. So when you click install, the driver might not install correctly because you need to restart your PC and you need to disable the driver signature enforcement. If you don't know how to do it, you can just Google it out. It's not very hard. Once you have done that, you need to go back and you need to install the Lenovo USB driver. If you have already installed this, you don't need to install it again. Once you have installed all the drivers, you need to go to DRV tools again. You need to go to MTK flash tool and then you need to open up the flash tool. As you can see, the scatter file cannot be found. I'm going to show you how to fix this. All right, first the download agent will be choosed automatically by the software. So we need to select the scatter loading file. So click here. And then browse the android scatter file which is here sw target underscore bin and this is the android scatter file once the rom is loaded it is ready to be flashed into the phone i don't want to install the stock recovery so i'm going to uncheck that and here you need to choose only da download only if you choose format all plus download, it might erase your IMEI, the Wi-Fi MAC address, Bluetooth MAC address and other stuff. So just choose download only. And here you need to go to options and make sure go to the download tab and make sure that these two boxes are checked. Once you have done that, you can close it. All right. Next, you need to switch off your phone. Alright, once your phone is switched off, you need to select the download button in the software. And now don't do anything, just take your USB cable, connect one end to your computer, connect one end to the phone. Don't turn on the phone, just connect the USB cable to the phone. Once you see that red bar, don't touch anything, just let it do the flashing process. And as you can see, it's flashing right now, 1%. This may take some time, but I'm going to fast forward it for you guys to save some time. So yeah, don't touch anything. Just let it do the flashing process. Until it's done, just sit back and relax. All right, once the flashing process is complete, you can go ahead and close the software. And here on the phone, you can disconnect the USB cable and you can power on your phone just like normal and it will boot right into the setup page. But I need to do some configuration in the TWRP recovery. So I'm going to do that real quick. Alright, I have done what I need to do. So now I can just select reboot and then reboot to system and it will again take some time and again it will take some time. It needs to install all the apps and everything. So yeah, again you have to wait. Alright, once the phone has booted, you can just set it up like you just got a new phone. I'm going to set everything up. And there you have it, stock Android 6.0. So that's it for this video guys, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.